welcome to the playlist of basic electrical engineering in this session i am going to discuss most important questions which can be expected for the university examination in the subject introduction to electrical engineering as you know that there are five modules so we are going to discuss important question from each and every module so let me discuss the important question from module 1 so please go through the screen which i already mentioned yes the first question is you can read out explain the single line diagram of electrical power system network you are expected to draw a single line diagram of electrical power system you have to mention the power generation power transmission and the power distribution power transmission will be divided into two primary transmission and secondary transmission and uh, power distribution also will be divided into two primary distribution and secondary distribution don't forget to mark the voltage rating of each segment you will be getting eight marks diagram four marks explanation another four marks total eight marks explain the classification of energy sources you can divide energy sources into two types one is uh, renewable another one is non renewable non renewable can be again divided into two types one is commercial another one is non commercial explain in brief with the suitable examples another one is actually explain the schematic diagram of hydroelectric power station so diagram it carries the weightage of 50 percentage it depends on the evaluator anyway diagram has very important role you have to explain how the electricity is uh, formulated from hydroelectric power station how the potential energy of water that is going to convert into electrical energy so you have to mention about dam pen stock then turbine generator etc possible give the brief explanation another one is explain the neat block diagram of wind power plant or generation wind generation so uh, you have to mention about wind turbine uh, turbine blade then turbine blade is coupled with the power electronic interface then that output of power electronic interface is connected to uh, the uh, generator especially induction generator or uh, pmsd permanent magnet synchronous generator so if you explain in brief you will be getting full score okay now moving on to the remaining question so let us move on another important question explain the neat block diagram of nuclear power plant so you have to mention about nuclear fission uh, due to the nuclear fission definitely the steam is going to generate the steam is used to operate the steam turbine steam turbine is coupled with the generator then generator can be uh, take the output can be taken from generator you can connect to grid okay so those point you have to mention with the help of neat uh, block diagram you will be getting eight marks so they have mentioned directly schematic diagram four marks explanation four marks usually we consider like that 50 percentage for diagram another 50 percentage for explanation try to draw the neat block diagram explain the neat block diagram of solar power plant or solar generation initially you have to give the brief write up about solar energy so what is solar energy conversion the solar energy will be converted into either uh, heat energy or electrical energy you can explain either uh, solar thermal system or solar photovoltaic if it is solar photovoltaic solar so, solar energy is converted into electrical energy if it is solar thermal system solar energy will be converted into heat energy so if you want to draw the block diagram of solar photovoltaic system you have to mention about the solar panel uh, power electronic interface then load if it is standalone you have to mention about the battery if it is grid connected means no need to mention about ba battery directly you can directly connect it to the grid so these are the things you have to mention about the solar uh, photovoltaic if you want to mention about solar thermal that also you can mention like uh, collector and concentrator you have to mention how the uh, solar energy is converted into useful heat so another very very important question state and explain kirchhoff's law you have to mention about the kcl and the kvl separately fine so that you can manage so another important question i will be telling you a problem related to uh, kirchhoff's law problem related to uh, kcl then uh, it is related to current division rule all the things will be come uh, comes to, uh, so all the things can be applied for this particular problem so first you are supposed to do what you are supposed to do is so you need to mention about the uh, read the question properly uh, so convert the sentences into mathematical diagram so there are two parallel resistors we have a 20 ohm right then 40 ohm 
this is your 40 ohm, correct? Connected to series with a 10 ohm resistor. 10 ohm resistor. Like that, you have to draw. If the current flowing through 10 ohm resistor is 5 ampere, so you need to find out uh, the current in 20 ohm and 40 ohm resistor, the voltage across the circuit, the total power and the power consumed in all resistor. Fine. So you have to mention the circuit like that. Definitely there will be supply voltage. Voltage should be there. Okay. So current flowing through 10 ohm resistor means it's a total current. So we can assume that 5 ampere, right? We can mark here. Here also you can mark 5 ampere. Okay. First step is the current in 20 ohm and 40 ohm need to be calculated. So what you can do is you can use the current division rule. Use current division rule. Okay. Current division formula. Current division rule can be applied. Fine. Uh, another one is actually voltage across the whole circuit. So voltage, how to calculate voltage? V is equal to I into R. I into R. Here what is R? R is nothing but R equivalent. Here two resistors are in parallel. That, that is connected to the series. R1, R2. So let us say R1. Uh, this is R2. This is R3. How to calculate R equivalent? R1, R2 by R1 plus R2. That is series with R3. Like that you have to calculate R equivalent. That should be multiplied with 5 ampere. Fine. So total power and power consumed in all resistors. What is the formula for total power? P total is equal to V into I. That is the equation for total power. How to calculate a power which is flowing, uh, which is uh, happening in this particular branch? So we can calculate like this. Uh, P is equal to P, P1. Let us call P1. P1 is equal to I1 square into R1. Here how to calculate? P2 is equal to uh, I2 square into R2. Like that you can calculate. Fine. So this you can manage it very easily. Draw the diagram and you can easily get the answer. Any confusion means you can put up in the comment box. I will be helping you. So another important question you can see. State and explain Ohm's law. So you have to elaborate the statement properly. So like in a, in a, in a closed circuit, in an electrical circuit, the voltage is directly proportional to the current flowing through the circuit, provided the temperature and the pressure remains constant. That means all the physical parameters remains constant. So V is proportional to I. V is proportional to I. V is equal to a constant into I. So this constant is called as resistor, resistance. Okay. So if possible, draw the graph also. IV characteristics you can mention. Okay. So so like that you can mark. So this is delta V, delta I. So R is equal to delta V by delta I. Okay. So slope is equal to resistance. What are the limitations? Not applicable to insulators, not applicable to semiconductors. Also, the physical parameters need to be considered as constant. If there are variations in the physical, physical parameters, the Ohm's law is going to violate. So another one is a current 50 ampere flowing through two ammeter A1 and A2 connected in series. First, you mark A1 and A2. This is A1 and this is A2, correct? Both are in series. And the potential difference across two ammeters are 0.4 and 0.8 respectively. So this can be 0 0.4, 0 0.4 volt, correct? This should be how much? 0.8 volt. So like that, you have to draw the circuit diagram, fine. Uh, and uh, find how, uh, how the same current will divide when they are connected in parallel, okay? So initially it was in series, right? Okay, so what we can do is, uh, so any anyway, ammeter offers a certain resistance. So let me call it as R1. And this is R2. So I know the voltage. 
what is the voltage 0 0.4 0 0.4 this is 0.8 correct so a current of 50 ampere is flowing 50 ampere 50 this is 50 ampere i can mark here also both are same only 50 ampere so what you can do is so current is given total current total current is available similarly the total resistor total voltage drop is also available how to calculate total voltage drop uh, the voltage across r1 and the voltage across r2 can be calculated 0.4 plus 0.8 fine that can be done now the thing is we do not know the values of r1 and r2 how to calculate the values of r1 and r2 anyway uh, the voltage let us call this is v1 and this is v2 voltage across r1 is v1 voltage across r2 is v2 how to calculate voltage across r1 that is v1 v1 is equal to i into r1 that is the formula right from this you can calculate r1 r1 is equal to v1 divided by i i will not change because it's a series circuit so you can calculate r1 fine likewise you calculate r2 how do you calculate r2 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 is nothing but uh, v2 v2 means voltage across r r2 because in series voltage divides the voltage is getting divided v2 divided by total current you can calculate r1 and r2 later what you can do so later what you can do is connect r1 and r2 in parallel to ammeters we are saying that ammeters because it offers a certain resistance for r2 so like that you can uh, show let i is the total current how much the value of i is i is 50 amp so let me call i1 is the current flowing through r1 I2 is the current flowing through R2. How to calculate I1? Use the current division formula. Okay, total current is 50. Uh, what is opposite branch? R2, right? R2 by R1 plus R2. Likewise, you can calculate I1. How to calculate I2? So, total current is 50, right? 50 into uh, R2 by R1 plus R2. This can be uh, calculated easily. So, you will be getting the answer. Fine. Simple problem only. Another important problem is related to KCL and KVL. Apply KCL and K KVL. Okay. Here you have to mark the first of all, you have to mark the direction of current. Each direction of current I1, I2, everything you have to calculate in this branch. Okay. Finally, you have to calculate the total current you have to calculate. Fine. What is the value of current? So if you know the value of current means each branch voltage can be calculated like a b v a b then uh, v v uh, b c uh, v c d so likewise you can calculate each branch voltage how to calculate branch voltage current into resistance current into resistance for example current you will be getting now so current into 0 0.02 ohm here also current into 0 0.02 current into 0 0.03 like that you have to calculate but here by using the kcl Using the KCL, okay, using KCL, you have to calculate the total current. If you need the answer, you please contact me. I can share that particular, so, so I have solved already. But I'll be giving only the, uh, so, uh, the key in this particular session. If you require any solution, please mail me. Mm, I'll forward that particular answer. Fine. So that's all about the uh, uh, problem. So another important problem related to KCL and KVL. Here, what you can do is, there is a loop. We can see the loop. How many loops are there? There are two loops. I1 and this is I2, right? I2. So, let us call loop number 1 and this is loop number 2. So, solve loop number 1. So, you have to form the equation. Equation at loop 1. You will be getting a linear equation. So, similarly, you have to do the equation by applying KVL in the loop 2. Like B loop 2. Two equations, two equations you will be getting. Okay, solve two equations using the calci calculator or you can go for any kind of method, metric method or elimination method. So, solve I1 and I2. So, try to solve the value of I1 and I2. Find the current flowing through each branch you have to calculate. First, we will calculate current flowing through 3, 3, 3 ohm. That means I1 into um, current flowing through 3 ohm means I1 only. Current flowing through 4 ohm is nothing but I2. But here while calculating current flowing through this particular branch, you have to take a difference. So, 
I1 minus I2, you have to calculate. Okay. If you apply the KCL, we will come to know. So by using entering current and leaving current, so you can easily calculate I1 minus I2. Applying the KCL, you can calculate the current flowing through 2 ohm. So this is actually uh, the solution for this particular problem. Try to solve and get me the answer. Okay. It is simple only. I already made a video how to solve this. You can go through my uh, lecture series. Fine. So likewise, another, another problem. Determine the current flowing through the ammeter, which is having 20 ohm resistor. So here, remember that ammeter is having the resistance of 20 ohm. So it is better to change the diagram. Instead of ammeter, you can put a resistor, right? Okay. Now you can solve. I1, you can put here I2. I2. So there are two loops, right? Two loop, two equation. Two equation solve I1 and I2. Finally, you can calculate what is the current flowing through for the ammeter. Fine. So use the KCL and you can calculate current flowing through ammeter. So this is a quite simple question. So another one is also very simple. You can apply KCL and KVN and you can solve this particular question. If you, I already solved, if you need, you can uh, contact, give the mail ID, I'll forward the solution. All right. So these are the probable questions uh, from uh, module, module one. Okay, now let us move on to module two. Okay, so you have to study the definition. First question is define the following time period, time taken to complete one like free cycle. The number of cycles per second is called a frequency. The maximum, uh, the ampli the maximum value of voltage or height that is called amplitude. Uh, it is in terms of it may be voltage or current amplitude. If it is voltage amplitude, you can mention like volt, or if it is amplitude of current, you can mention amp amps. Phase you can mention, but if phase differences with the help of diagram, you can explain definitely you can score 10 marks. Another one is form factor, it is a ratio of RMS value to the average value, it is equal to 1.11. So, derivation also you have to mention like uh, form factor is equal to V RMS by V average. So first you write the equation of VRMS. VRMS means Vm by root 2. Uh, I, v average means Vm by 5. Okay. Uh, so if you if you solve that, okay, if you solve, definitely you will be getting the answer as 2 Vm by 5. This will be 2 Vm by 5. Yes. 2 Vm by 5. So uh, if you solve this, you will be getting 1.11. Fine. Similarly, uh, another important problem. It is very simple. Consider one equation. I is equal to 20 sine 317 T uh, ampere. Find the peak current average value, RMS value, instantaneous value at a time T is equal to uh, 3 milliseconds. Very simple. You know I is equal to I is equal to IM sine omega T. The given equation I is equal to 20 sine uh, 370 t so compare both so you'll be getting the the peak current is equal to how much 20 uh, the average value you can calculate it what is the formula uh, i average equal to 0.637 im you can calculate directly similar rms value i rms is, i rms is equal to im by root 2 instantaneous value Okay, instantaneous value means I, I of t. I of t is equal to how much? 20, uh, 5 millisecond. 5 into 10 to the power minus 3, you can put 20 into uh, sine 317 into how much? 5 into 10 to the power minus 3 second. If you put uh, definitely, you will be getting the answer. Okay. You can make it very easily. So another uh, another important thing is define RMS value. What is RMS value? Write with equations. Average value definition is available. A peak factor. Peak factor is nothing but the uh, we can say that it is uh, here you can mention okay peak factor the maximum value Vm by maximum value divided by RMS value. You will be getting uh, around uh, root 2 you will be getting. That is called a peak factor. Form factor also I already mentioned. Okay. Uh, 
another one is show that average power consumed in a poor uh, the pure inductor is equal to zero draw the neat diagram so first you draw the simple circuit diagram of inductor uh, then you have to mention about the phasor diagram then write down the equations two equations you have to mention okay two equations then try to do the integration because you have to calculate the total power take the interval like uh, 0 to 2 pi right 0 to 2 pi anyway voltage v is equal to how much v is equal to vm uh, sin omega vm sin omega t what about current im into uh, sin omega t minus uh, phi or pi by 2 it's a pure inductor now so 90 degree phase shift so you can mention like sin omega t dt fine use the trigonometric formula ultimately the answer should be zero only because use the trigonometric formula simplify it ultimately you should get the values equal to zero p average p average equal to zero zero watts okay that is also simple question only Similarly, you can expect another type of question. Explain, uh, sorry, the expression for current flowing through pure inductor if uh, V is equal to Vm sin omega t. Okay, similarly, expression for current flowing through the capacitor V is equal to Vm sin omega t. Okay. Uh, these are the simple type of questions only. Draw the phasor diagram. Fine. Okay. Draw the phasor diagram first of all. Simple circuit diagram you can draw. Okay, draw the circuit diagram. Then uh, apply the ba ba basic equation. Definitely you can get the general expression. So what you are supposed to get is I is equal to I m sin omega t minus phi by 2. V is equal to V m sin omega t. Okay, this is for inductor. If it is capacitor, V is equal to Vm sin omega t. I is equal to, there is a derivation I already mentioned in my lecture series. Sin omega t plus phi by 2. Like that you have to follow. Simple derivation, you have to, you should know the integration and differentiation. That's all. If you know that, you can solve it fastly. Refer my lecture series. Show that average power consumed in a pure resistor is the product of RMS value and RMS value of voltage and current. Derive the neat waveforms of the voltage, current and power. 10 marks will be getting. Derivation of power, 7 marks, waveforms, 3 marks. So that's also simple. First you mention about the voltage and current. What is V? V is equal to Vm sin omega t. Uh, then I is equal to Im sin omega t. So average power. You have to use the integration 0 to because you will be considering complete cycle. So Vm sin omega t, Im sin omega t, dt. Now use the trigonometry. What is the expression for sin omega t cos omega t? How we can modify? Just think over that. Ultimately, you should get Vm by root 2 into Im by root 2. That is nothing but. VRMS into IRMS. Okay. So I think you can manage it easily. Okay. These are the important questions from till one and a half modules. So let me discuss uh, the remaining uh, uh, remaining questions from module two. Uh, with the help of circuit diagram, phase diagram, find the phase angle impedance and RL circuit. So you have to refer the analysis of RL circuit. Okay. For, for example, uh, phase angle. You draw the phase diagram and compute uh, tan phi. From that, you can calculate phi. So impedance. Okay. Impedance, how to calculate impedance? Square root of R square plus XL square. And uh, those, those parameters you can calculate. Similarly, another type of problem. An inductive coil. Uh, takes the current of uh, 10 ampere from uh, the supply voltage of 100 volt. Uh, so this formula you can solve by using like, uh, uh, you know, the equation for power factor. What is the equation for power, general equation of power factor? Okay, cos phi, the active and the reactive up and apparent power. Okay, so how to calculate this? Active power means P is equal to Vi cos phi. The reactive power Vi 
sin phi apparent power is equal to VRMS into IRMS. Okay, VRMS. I will be writing VRMS into IRMS. You have to understand. Okay, so this is also a very simple question only. Anyway, anyway, angle is given already. Definitely, you can calculate cos phi, right? If you calculate cos phi, you will be getting power factor. So, once you get to know the value of power factor, remaining things can be calculated. Anyway, voltage and current is already given. So, whatever the voltage, that is uh, in RMS only. Whatever the current they have given, that is also in RMS quantity. Fine. It is very simple. Another one is a question related to... Look at the particular question. Yes, RC circuit. You can expect a similar kind of question for RC circuit also. So, equation is getting varied. Fine. Uh, and also another important question, what is real power, reactive power and apparent power? So, direct definition can be expected in the examination. So, uh, you, can, you have to study the definition, equation and basic definition. Don't forget to write the units also. Active power in terms of watts, the reactive power in terms of volt ampere, reactive and apparent power in terms of volt ampere. So, derive an expression for impedance of the AC circuit comprises of resistance, inductance and um, ca capacitance connected. RLC circuit basically. So, you have to derive, draw the phasor diagram. And in that, you have to apply the parallelogram law, or you can directly vector root. You can apply the vector root and you can easily calculate. There are several methods. What is uh, power factor? Okay, explain the definition of power factor and we can explain the significance. Fine. Similarly, uh, you have to explain the relationship between star and delta connected circuit. Okay, very, very simple question. Star connection means line voltage is equal to root 3 times phase voltage. Line current is equal to phase current. Draw the circuit diagram also. Delta means line voltage is equal to phase voltage. The line current is equal to root 3 times phase current. This point you have to remember. Fine. Similarly, a circuit uh, consists of resistor, inductor, both are in series, and the phase voltage they have already given. First, you draw the circuit diagram. Very simple circuit, RL circuit now. So, R is 20, 20 ohm, L is 0 0.05 Henry, and uh, you are applying 230 volt, AC, right? 230 volt, 230 volt. Find the impedance, current, power facts, all those things. So, very easy. So, what is the formula for impedance? Root of R square plus XL square. But I don't know XL directly. So, XL you can calculate. L into 2 pi F. F is already given, 50 hertz. Directly you can substitute. Similarly, once I get to know the value of uh, impedance, I, I can be calculated. I is equal to V by Z. Okay, Z is available here. V by Z. V is already given. How much? 230 volt. In the third one, uh, power. Uh, third one is power factor. Post pi. Post pi, there is a simple formula. R by Z. You can calculate post pi. Then power consumed. P is equal to power consumed is VI cos phi. It is applicable for R, RL circuit, RC circuit and RLC circuit. Remember this. This is an active power. Voltage drop across R. V, uh, so, we can write VR is equal to I into R. Voltage drop across inductor. VL is equal to I into XL. I is same only because it is a series circuit. So, you can easily apply and uh, finally you can draw the phasor diagram. It is very easy only. It is not so difficult. Similarly, relationship between uh, star and delta connection. That is important. Another question is related to RLC circuit. Draw the RLC circuit first, then calculate the impedance R square plus square root of R square plus XL minus XC the whole square. Then you can calculate the value of current I is equal to V by Z. Power factor is equal to R by Z. Power, uh, like that you can calculate. Power is equal to VI cos phi. Next is actually uh, define the phase sequence. What is the phase sequence? You can explain with the help of uh, a, 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 the, that uh, line diagram. Single line diagram you can explain. Okay. Like VAB. Uh, so VR, v, VY, VB. The displacement you can mention. Similarly, what are the advantages of three-phase system? You have to mention the advantage. One under advantage I can tell you. So you know three-phase induction motor. Three-phase induction motor is uh, non-self. Uh, no, it's not a uh, three phase induction motor is a self starting, where single phase induction motor is a non self starting device. So, one advantage. 
for high power application three phase induction motor is advantage as compared to single phase induction motor like that you can give some uh, important points okay so this is also another type of three coils having the resistance 10 ohm and inductance of 0 0.02 henry are connected star echoes 440 50 hertz three phase supply calculate the line current draw the three phase uh, that particular diagram three phase diagram you can draw like like that i'll show you So like that you can draw. So what is R? R is 10 now. L is 0 0.02. Same applicable for every, every everywhere. Zero point zero two. Fine. Line voltage is given, right? VL is equal to 440. Calculate the line current. IL you have to calculate. So you already uh, how to calculate IL. Before that, what you can do is let us convert line, line voltage into phase voltage. VL is equal to root 3 into V phase. Therefore, V phase is equal to uh, VL divided by root 3. That you are supposed to calculate. Once you get the V phase, your problem will be solved. Like IL, how to calculate IL? IL, uh, sorry, IL. IL is equal to I phase, right? Because it's a star connection. That is equal to V, v uh, voltage by uh, the resist resistance. Here, resistance is called impedance, right? Because R circuit. So, you can V phase by Z, you can calculate, then you will be getting uh, IL. Similarly, power factor, cos by is equal to R by Z. Cos by means R by Z. R is available, Z is also, will be computing from this formula. So, total power consumed, VI cos by. VI cos by, that is equal to total power. So, like that, you can uh, get the answer. Fine. That's also simple only. So you can manage it. So another important question is, list the advantages and uh, setbacks of three-phase AC supply. So three plus two, advantage three marks, another disadvantage for two marks. Similarly, you will be getting a problem related to RC circuit, which is similar to the previous uh, R, R, RL and RLC circuit, which you already mentioned. Similarly, so another important question from three phase, which we have done just now, we have done now. So if you fo follow that, you can get the answer. So see, another one is actually RLC circuit. So you have to calculate current I is equal to V by Z, power uh, VI cos by, power factor means R by Z. So use the basic formula and you can easily compute it, fine. So these are the questions from uh, module 2.